Hello everyone, Lucas Eddy here with Climb. Today we're gonna to be talking about the new Hardinger heated glove. Just came out with this this spring, 2021. This glove is super awesome for any kind of cold, rainy, snowy, whatever conditions. If you're commuting, if you're touring and the weather gets gnarly, whatever you wanna do, this heated touring glove, street glove is money. My hands get super cold. I like these kind of things that add some extra heat so I don't have to wear super bulky gloves. Okay, let's get into the details on this. You guys know our Vanguard Gore-Tex long gloves. These are gonna be really similar to those. We've got our molded knuckle protection here with the leather on there. We've got some soft knuckle protection on the fingers. The fingers are stitched in a pre-curved way, so it's gonna be really easy to hold onto those bars. You're not like fighting the gloves to get a grip. We've got a squeegee here on the forefinger to wipe off any kind of ice or slush or water from your visor or from your face shield. Then we've got a full leather palm all here. We've got some light backhand insulation as well, going from the tips of the fingers all the way back here. The reason we do that is to add some heat, even if you don't have the heated elements turned on, but then that's without adding insulation to your palm so you can still grip the bike really well. So if you guys know our snowmobile side, that's really similar to the power cross gloves there. The concept works. It's great for any kind of like medium chilly temperatures until you need to add the heat. So speaking of the heat, what we have here is a wire, plug in your battery. These gloves both come with one battery each when you get your packaging. There's also a charger in the packaging for the gloves. So anyways, plug in your battery, drop it into the pouch there at the bottom of the hand, then you're ready to go. You just press and hold this for about two seconds, turns on, red is the highest level. It turns on for about 10 minutes at the highest level and then it gets really warm and then it auto turns down to medium to save battery and keep your hands from getting too warm. You can override it and turn it back to high if you want. It's just a built-in protection thing to keep your hands from getting too warm and from running out of the battery too fast. Okay, the battery life is gonna vary a little bit depending on uh, what conditions you use it in, how cold it is outside. Okay, so high is red, click it once, goes to blue. Blue is medium, and it will do medium for about three hours, and it can stay on medium basically forever. It's not gonna turn down for medium. Hit the button again, now it's green. Green is low, green will run for about eight hours before you wanna recharge the battery. Hit it again, goes back to red, and you can keep cycling through these so you press and hold, and it turns off. Okay, now it's just a normal, partially insulated touring glove that's waterproof also. Again, super simple comfort features here. We've got the pull tab, we've got a Velcro cuff adjustment, we've got another Velcro wrist adjustment with some elastic back there, moisture wicking lining. Overall, you can't go wrong with this. Add this to your arsenal of gloves for multi-weather touring, riding, commuting, street riding, whatever you wanna do, where you wanna have water and weather protection and added heat. Hardinger heated glove, check it out online on our website. Follow us on social media, on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, it's all Climb Motorcycle. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.